Good morning, YouTube. Um, I want to talk to you on a subject of being around people who are defensive. Have you all ever been around somebody who is so defensive that you got to tiptoe with your words when you're around them so you don't set them off? Um, you want to make sure that you don't be that person. <laughs> Because you don't want nobody to feel like they got to tiptoe around you and stuff like that. Because it'll make you very unlikable. And you don't want that feeling of people looking at you like, Is she going to get mad at me? So, um, try to look around and see the big picture before you assume that somebody is saying something negative to you. In the Bible, I should, shouldn't be quoting it because I don't have the exact scripture. But in the Bible, it says, um, let it be next to impossible to insult you. So I think that's a good, uh, <clears throat> I think that's a good word. Let it be next to impossible to insult you. And it's easy too. Um, one thing that's very easy is we're all trying to be conscious and everything and being conscious you're hearing a lot about things um, and and not that be, hearing a lot makes you bitter or anything because it doesn't but it just makes you aware and um, like if you're the only black person in a crowd or and that could be anything anything that makes you different from others but if you happen to be the only black person in the crowd and something goes down you don't want to think it's racism all the time you got to check things out so be sure to be patient and check things out before you jump to any conclusions or you could be in an embarrassing situation. Or should I say, shit you -ation. So, um, yeah. Uh, let, get, let being insulted be the last thing that happens to you. Um, it could be that you're the only fat person among skinny people. Or it could be that you're the only skinny person among fat people. Um, something could have happened in your past that makes you a little, um, a little sensitive. So, you can't, I don't want you to just hold your feelings back, but change your perspective. <clears throat> you need to the best thing to do is to change your perspective on life and to start seeing people in a positive light look for the good in people and um, when you're looking for good you kinda you know you can overlook the bad and even if there's bad and there is bad you know but You can try to understand why is it there. I ran across a lady last night. It kind of, I kind of, I didn't know. I had mixed feelings about her. I ran across a lady on YouTube who was bashing black women, and she was black. And she was saying um, some disheartening things about black women. And then at the very end, she says she has a friend that works at the airport. And she knows, and they're both black, and she knows this friend doesn't like her. Well, and if she has somebody that she knows that she went to school with that works at the airport, and this person always makes out like um, they like her. They're like, hi, so-and-so, and whatever her name was. And she said, now this lady knows she don't like me, so why is she speaking? And I don't know why she thinks she better than me and all of this stuff. But yet she doing the same bashing to other people. <coughs> Excuse me. 
but yet she is doing the same bashing to other people. And she also said, if you don't agree with me, don't leave no comments. Just keep on moving and all this kind of stuff. I think we as people, not even black people, we as people need to quit bashing each other. We need you to stop it because nobody understands <clears throat> the other person's walk through life. You just don't know. And um, you just can't judge people. You can't judge people. You can't judge people. You know, you can, like they say, you can't judge a book by its cover. So that's my sermonette for today. Y'all go out and make it a great day. I sure am. Bye.